So, how do we treat asthma? Most asthma medicine is given by mouth, by breathing it in from an inhaler. We sometimes call it a puffer. Inhaled treatment comes in two forms. There's reliever medication and preventer medication. The most common reliever medication is salbutamol, a blue puffer, commonly known as Ventolin. Relievers help open up the airways by relaxing airway muscles to make it easier to breathe. We use relievers to relieve the symptoms of asthma when they happen. Relievers are needed when there are asthma signs, such as your child having trouble breathing. After giving a reliever, breathing should get better, usually in minutes. However, you need to monitor your child's breathing and give more reliever if the signs get worse. Children five years and younger can have up to six puffs of salbutamol. Children six years and over can have up to 12 puffs of salbutamol. If your child needs their reliever more often than every three hours, give more reliever, follow your asthma plan and see a doctor or go to hospital. If asthma is brought on by exercise, relievers can be used before playing sport to help open up the airways. A preventer works by reducing the swelling and inflammation in the airways. By doing this, preventers help prevent asthma symptoms and episodes from occurring. Preventers come in two forms, inhalers and tablets. Preventers are used when your child has ongoing regular symptoms between asthma episodes. And preventers need to be taken every day, even when well, for them to work. If you find your child is regularly short of breath with exercise, uses their reliever more than twice a week, or coughs most nights, even when well, you should speak with your doctor. If your child has a food allergy or is at risk of anaphylaxis, it is important to make sure that the asthma is well controlled. When giving puffers, both relievers and preventers, it's best to use a spacer device. Using a spacer with a mask in younger children helps get the medicine directly to the lungs where it's needed. This is much more effective than using a puffer alone. Please watch the short video of your child's age group to see how to best use a puffer and spacer. When your child has a more severe acute episode, we need to reduce the swelling in the airways. We do this by prescribing an oral steroid called prednisolone. This should only be used for short periods and must be prescribed by your doctor.